Jacksonville police investigating after someone fired a bullet through a window in the mayor's office downtown. That bullet went through a fourth floor window in City Hall. And news for Jack reporter Ann Maxwell is live downtown with the latest. Ann. Certainly a very scary situation for the city's administration. The damage is still visible here on that fourth floor window by those palm trees. The who and why behind this still aren't clear, but investigators are looking into it. A window at Jacksonville City Hall discovered broken hours after bullet casings were found in James Weldon Johnson Park across the street. According to this JSO report, a City Hall employee found 9mm bullet casings in the park during her break around 1115 Monday morning. JSO collected four bullet casings from the scene. That afternoon, a City Hall source says the damage to this window was discovered. Jacksonville native Taylor Sharp, who goes to cosmetology school nearby, says she was stunned by the news. That's kind of scary because I didn't hear anything about it and I kind of seen it up over at the top, but... That's wow. City Hall employees told News for Jacks Tuesday morning they were unaware of the broken window. Jacksonville resident Kathy Croy says she comes to James Weldon Johnson Park early in the morning because her husband volunteers nearby. You're always hearing gunfire and you're hearing and seeing all kinds of stuff over here. People screaming, yelling. According to JSO, there have not been any person shot calls or discharged firearms since November 8th. But that report was written before the bullet hole was found in the window. However, JSO's crime map shows there was a shooting on West Monroe Street nearby on November 13th. There was also a report of an assault nearby on November 8th and a burglary reported a block away from City Hall on Saturday. As the news broke about the mayor's office's shot out window Tuesday morning, a few people gathered for a pro-Confederate monument demonstration at the park. And a plane flew over downtown with a Confederate flag and a banner reading, Curry, stop your hate. Mayor Curry previously came out against pro-Confederate demonstration in the city, tweeting, there is no place for hate of any kind in our city, and saying he'd allocated money to empower city council to remove Confederate monuments. Croy said she wasn't surprised about the apparent gunshot at the mayor's office. No, ma'am, because so many people are out to get the mayor. You see all over the news all the time, people are out because they don't like what he stands for. And you what? hear that a lot, uh, gossip around in this little area, so... You never know. JSO has not said if they believe the shot at the window was targeted or random. And JSO was actually hit by gunfire last year in a shooting that left two people injured. We have reached out to the mayor's office today, but so far the mayor has not made any public statements about this. Live downtown and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.